G'day ladies and gents, Sammy Hitsky here for Albi's Essential Rigs series. Today we've got a very interesting video on how to minimise line twist when fishing with your Albi and when and why we use double swivel rigs. There's a bit to get through in this one, let's get stuck into it. There we go. Now let's kick it off with the double swivel rig or restricted sinker rig as it's also known. Now I'm fully aware that everyone has different opinions on this topic. This is what I've found works best for me. Now there's essentially two scenarios where I will pull out the restricted sinker rig. The first one is when I want to cast a really long way. So regardless of whether I'm fishing for tailor or dart or whatever it is, if I want to cast a really long way, the best way to maximise distance is restrict that sinker. During the cast, if you don't have it restricted, you've got it on a running sinker rig, that sinker can slide back up your line and increase the length and drag of your bait. So it cuts down your distance. But by restricting it there, it's stuck, it hits that swivel and flies through the air. Now, the other scenario I'll bring out the restricted sinker rig is when the tailors start playing silly buggers. Sometimes they get in a funny little mood where they'll be picking the bait up and just running towards you. And the only indication of a bite that you'll get is that your line just goes slack. It can be quite hard to hook them. So by having your sinker between the two swivels, particularly larger surf sinkers, while you're sitting there with your bait, tension on your bait like that, it'll be sitting down the bottom, the fish will pick up the bait, run towards you, jam that sinker against your top swivel, and it'll actually help to set the hook and provide a bit of resistance so those hooks stay in their mouth until you get a bit of sight line and give them a big hit. Another popular opinion is that dual swivels will reduce your line twist, and it's one that I actually disagree with. I've got a bit of a theory that I'll run through with you now. Now, your average swivel consists of three components. You've got your two loops at each end, and then you've got a barrel in the middle which holds the two loops and allows them to spin. Now, when there's no pressure on those loops, you'll see they spin quite freely when we twist that line. But the second you add, tension into the system, they don't spin at all, in fact the whole swivel spins. And that's because the friction on the inside of the barrel prevents the loop from spinning. So whenever you add a sinker to the rig, particularly a larger one like we commonly use in the surf, it'll put tension on those swivels and stop them from spinning. They still may twist from time to time but not enough to make a difference, particularly when you've got 50 or 60 metres of soft flexible mono that will absorb the twist without talking up your swivel. Now that doesn't mean we can get rid of them all together, no siree. In fact, this bottom one is very important for reducing twist. Because it's not under tension where your bait is, your bait can flop around and spin around in the current and it will twist quite freely because there's no tension on it. So don't disregard that bottom swivel, it's very important. It's just the top swivel here that doesn't do its job effectively at all. Now, one solution that I haven't personally tried would be to replace this swivel with an expensive ball bearing swivel. They may spin a bit more freely, but I also get the feeling that once it's rolled around in the sand a couple of times, it won't be much of a ball bearing swivel any longer. So, what can you do to minimise your twist? Well, there's a little technique that my dad showed me that I do after every single cast. Lift your sinker up so there's no weight on any swivel, whether you're using one or two, and just let your bait and rig spin freely. You'll be surprised how long it actually spins for before it slows down. If you do that religiously, it will massively reduce the amount of line twists throughout your whole system and should help keep you out of trouble. Well guys, I hope that answers a few questions for you. Now only one thing left to do, that's get out there and have a fish yourself. Good luck guys, cheers.